Hey, I'm showing Cyberpunk 2077 in VR today. This VR mod has been just taken down by the CD Projekt Red, but I will show you how to still get it and set up with the last working version from the January 5th, 2026. Completely free. Going in or staying out? Actually, I will link a full written guide on the Panda Discord in the video description too. But first let's talk why this mod has been taken down by the CD Projekt Red. The company definitely supports modders. Both Witcher and Cyberpunk series are the most famous for all kinds of mods. And that is true. But the company has terms of service for the fan-made content. And one of the major parts is making money from the fan content which is not allowed. While the Lou Cross VR mod has been sold on the guy's Patreon, and the guy still denies he did anything wrong, arguing his mod is not a derivative work of the game. But we're not gonna get into the details which side is correct. I'm just gonna say how the VR mod studios are already contacted CD Projekt Red to make an official VR mode for the game the full motion controls and everything. This definitely will be the best option in the end. But as you can see, even this half mod with no motion controls, just having the six degrees of freedom VR view in the game is already so cool. Just visiting some of these cyberpunk bars and events, the game looks completely different from the VR perspective. You do not see even half of all little details playing even on the larger screen. How much more you notice on every character and environment playing this game in VR. So I did not bother to play this mod before myself, because I do not like mods with no motion controls, but this one might be an exception worth trying, even if not for playing an actual game, just for visiting some of these bars and cool locations in VR. And the second good news, copies of this mod are shared all over the internet now, for free. I think even more copies and mirrors will come up soon, after the official source has been taken down. And since the mod is free now, nobody is making money, it is all fine with the CD Projekt Red and all the fan-made content terms. So I got this mod from the Russian for PDA forum. We have a whole Lucros mod backup. I think you may need to register on that forum to download the files. So I have put a full written guide with direct links to download with no registration needed. See the full guide on the Panda Discord. And currently I'm running the latest Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty version, which is 2.31. And I have downloaded and extracted the last working mod with the Cyberpunk, which is 26.3. And now I'm gonna copy the files from the mod folder to the cyberpunk slash bin slash x64 where your cyberpunk.exe is located. So copy the files there. Then you're gonna run realconfig.bat file and it will launch a command prompt and it will copy all the mod files to the correct locations. By the way, I believe this is permanently makes the game to run in VR mode, so you will need to delete all these files or reinstall the game if you will ever want to get back into the flat screen version. I'm using the Quest Pro. I will run Steam Link, connect to my PC in VR. And make sure you have OpenXR set to Steam VR if you are using the Steam Link. And by the way, I'm using the new Steam Link 2.0 beta because it beats the virtual desktop with visual quality any day now. And I'm ready to start the Cyberpunk. If everything is done correctly, you will see the real VR mod welcome screen, telling you the mod version and asking to bind the mod overlay key. I have binded this overlay to my keyboard home key. And I'm running my Quest Pro 2.8K resolution per eye. I will lower the refresh rate to 80 Hz. I'm not sure if the mod supports dynamic foveated render, but I will enable eye tracking just in case it benefits. 
For the graphics settings, I'm using FSR4 balance on the Radeon 9070XT. You can use DLSS if you are running an NVIDIA card and ray tracing is switched off. I recommend to start with all settings set to low, except the last two, high mirror quality and level of detail, and this will allow you easily start the game and see how well it is working on your PC. If, you have, if your GPU has the headroom left, you can start increasing settings to medium and then high. I was able to put all settings up all the way up to high on my 7800X3D and Radeon 9070XT setup. The game still runs at 80 FPS stable with some GPU headroom left, which I'm very impressed and surprised, but turns out many people with 5070Ti are reporting the same experience. We are surprised how well this game runs without a ray tracing. And you may notice I still have a perfect lighting and reflections because the game has been designed this way. All Nvidia crap has been added only after the fact, just to demo all the new technologies and features. Again, I'm not going uh, to go into details how RTX is not only does not improve the graphics, but makes uh, it worse in some cases and especially tanks your performance. To me, it's totally not worth the trade-off. Now driving cars work super well with this mod too. All car interiors looks totally different and so good in full 3D and VR. And driving the gamepad or a wheel connected works really well. So you can easily do races or just navigate around the night city. I have a whole head turned off because it gets in the way in VR too. And that adds another level of fun trying to navigate the night city, just using the full map and my memory. Trying to find the actual streets or locations I want to go. That is the next level of immersion, just driving in the virtual city and trying to find the location just by looking around. Instead of silly arrows and minimaps pointing uh, exactly the direction to go. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, see the full guide in the Panda Discord, links are in the video description. Share this video with others, by the way, I do believe this mod works not only with the Cyberpunk, but many more games, let me know if I should make another video showing other games. I think all VR mods for Rockstar games they are taken down too, in the same similar fashion like the GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 but I can still see them on the same Russian forum with all detailed guides how to run and which versions to use. I could translate the guides and put uh, all links too. Hit a like, write a comment and I will look into that if many people are interested. Won't find a better massage in NC Cali 1 or Cali 2.